what's going on everyone so i have this beautiful resin crystal painting on my table today to be repaired refixed and recoated and i know you're looking at like oh my god this painting is so beautiful nothing is wrong with it but there are a lot of mistakes that are made in this painting that needs to be corrected before i can sell it to anyone because first of all there are holes right here inside of the painting. And if you get really, really close to it, you can smell the epoxy leaking through. That definitely needs to be fixed. There are holes on this side as well that are sticky. Like if you, you can really see that my hand is getting stuck right there. Um, the painting is dusty and needs to be wiped down. There's hair everywhere on this painting um hair right here cat hair like <laughs> um dirt and dust right here on this part yeah i can't sell this to anyone because the perfectionist in me needs to fix it first before this can actually be sold for real i feel like that's why i still have the painting it hasn't been sold because i really don't feel comfortable with selling anyone with you know bad quality work like this um so look, there's clumps of paint right here that needs to that needs epoxy over top of it um, to sit in it. Again, more hair, it definitely needs to be cleaned. That's like the number one thing that needs to be done. So this is what my day is gonna be consist of. I'm gonna take the time to repair this painting, probably add more crystals, put a little more color to it. Um, I don't really know yet, but it's going to be done today and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like after so get a good look at the before this is before all right and i'm going to show you guys the after Stay okay so the first thing you want to do when trying to fix your epoxy painting is you want to sand down those holes and then you want to go back and sand down your entire painting and wow, this looks absolutely amazing. I went back and I added more crystals. I made it shine a little bit more. I added some alcohol ink in to give it more depth. And then I recoated it with another coat of epoxy.